If you are a CDL driver and you want to come work for JB Hunt, I encourage you to send me uh, your name, your phone number, and your, your zip code. My email is moses at driversuccess.com. I will give your information to Susan. Susan is the recruiter that I work with. She's so good at what she does. So I'll give her your information and she will call you and let you know what's available in your area. Now, even if you are just new out of training, uh, JB Hunt has started a program. Uh, it's starting a program where they are training new truck drivers. So even if you're just out of training, um, just send me your information. Now, it depends on what location you are in. Susan will give you all the details, but whether you have experience or you don't have experience, if you wanna come on with JB Hunt, uh, then I encourage you to send me your information and then Susan will give you a call and get you placed uh, uh, as soon as possible. Hey, what's up friends? It's Moses here. I hope and pray that you are doing well. Today, I want us to talk about time. Uh, there's a difference between uh, how local truck drivers and OTR drivers or regional drivers uh, work. For the regional drivers and the over the road drivers, they go by the miles. Most of the time, they are looking at the miles and wondering how many miles can I drive today? Uh, they plan based on miles. So if they have a load maybe that is 1800 miles, they wanna uh, see how many they can drive in a day until they get to their destination. How long is it gonna take them? Local drivers, it's more about racing against time. So today I want to try and do something just to give you an idea of like uh, what time, how time goes by as I go through the day. I just go to work right now, it's 1.59, but my sleep sitter is not yet back. So I'm gonna go in the office and find out if he's close by or if I need to get another truck for the shift. So it turns out he's in the rail in getting an empty. My manager was asking whether he should get me another truck and I'm like, nah, I prefer to drive my own truck. So I'm just gonna wait for him. After he in gets the empty, he should be back and I'll get out of here. So right now it's 2.10, 2.11. He's back. So right now I'm signing in at 2.16. It's currently 97 degrees here in Hazlitt and it's still climbing. I think the highest it will be here is gonna be 99 degrees. But as you guys know, this brother of yours needs a cup of tea or coffee. So right now I'm just gonna go get myself a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna pick up an empty from the yard uh, because I have a refer load coming out of Garland, uh, coming back here. Okay, so right now the time is 14.42. Um, I'm supposed to be getting a refer empty. We don't have any in the yard, I've just checked. So I'm gonna go to a customer, there's a customer, I'm thinking I'll be able to find an empty there. Uh, hopefully I find one there and then we will go do the pickup in color. But right now it's 14.42. This customer right here, Craft Foods, we do bring a lot of refer trailers here. So it's highly probable that I'm gonna be able to find uh, an empty. That right here works. Now that we know it works, we can hit it off. Just need to lock in my pin. I'm supposed to hand in this to the security guard, but look at it. You see that oil? That's how truck drivers get dirty. Such stuff gets on our hands, gets on our clothes. Right now, the time is 15.04. Sending the manager a message, letting him know uh, what trailer I've got. And 
and then off to Galanguido to pick up our load. I was talking to the security guard uh, when he was checking me out and he was asking me whether the tracking is easy. And so, keep in mind I've been driving trucks for more than 10 years, right? So what kind of answer would you expect? In one half mile, turn left on Westport Parkway. Of course I told him that tracking is a very easy job. The first six months or the first year may be a little challenging, just like any um, any career, you know, like the first, like maybe six months, three years, or a year, depending on what career you're doing, it can be challenging because you have to learn the skill. But as long In as you learn the skill, mile, turn west the skill on Westport Parkway. it becomes easy. So I, I was telling him it's an easy, and it is a career and easy job. Uh, but of course, when we talk about easy, it depends on what you call easy and what I call easy. But I think it's one of the easiest careers, especially if you like the kind of uh, lifestyle that comes with a job. Turn left at the traffic light. Like for me, that independence is a big thing, like whereby you know what you're doing, so you are by yourself, you're not seated, in an office, somebody watching over you. Right now the time is 16.22, just got here, let's go check in. That's the alternate they are talking about, that's why you need hand sanitizer. That's the trail I'm picking up, so I'm gonna drop the empty right there. All right. I only have half a tank which means I will have to pass by pilot to fill it up but I also need some in my truck finally I'm done here the time is 17.16 it's taken me about an hour which is no, uh, in one quarter mile turn right then take the first right it's way longer than it should have taken me I think that lady in the office uh, is still new so it's kind of slow because it's not like we were so many but uh, the process ended up being uh, slower than it should have been. So an hour here heading to us right now. Right now it's 1836. I'm just gonna fill up my tractor, my reefer, and my def, and then I will take this to the rail.
1907 right now just made it here at the rail I'm gonna pack this container right here and then I have a load that is picking out of here I think I'm gonna pack it right here It's 1918, just hooked up to the load out of here. I'm gonna stop by the yard so I can take my lunch break. Right now it's 1927 and at 1930, uh, 1956 I'll be good to go so roughly at, at 20 I should be done with my lunch. It's 2001. I'm done with my break so let's get out of here. I've been given a pre-plan uh, so after I make this delivery in... Uh, where am I going? In Coppell, I'm gonna go to Fort Worth and pick up a lot coming back here in, in the rail. It's 2039, just made it to Amazon in Coppell. Right now it's 2101. I'm done. I'm now heading to Fort Worth. Right now the time is 21.32, just made it here in Fort Worth, this customer is Del Monte Foods. something coming back to the rail because when I take that Dallas one let me see that that will be what follows because I did um, the river and then took the Amazon 
I've picked up this one. I'm gonna take another Amazon. Uh, so those will be full loads. If I could get uh, a load coming back from Dallas, that would be good. But I'm not sure about the time because I have to be back uh, so that my sleep sitter can have that truck. I usually want to be back at least before 1.30 because usually comes in at around 1.30 so I try to get off uh, at around 1 or before so we'll see but for now I'm glad they gave me uh, something going further away it's not like uh, a close by lot it's 22.20 I'm back at the rail 22.36 Got my load. I'm heading to Amazon in Dallas. Uh, this one is off of Chalk Hill Road. I'm not going to the JJ Lemon. I'm going off of Chalk Hill Road. Right now, that time is 23:28. Made it to Amazon, Dallas. And have a pre plan on me so that is so cool it's 23 39 unfortunately these guys don't have um, an empty so I need to go look for an empty for my pickup but my pickup is gonna be in Hazlet, uh, Jesse Penny, which is close by the yard and the rail. So I'm gonna first try a place here, check it out to see. If they don't have an empty, I'll go to Hazlet and look for one. I'm gonna see if this customer right here has an empty. That way I just go directly to Jesse Penny. If they don't have one, uh, <coughs> I'll go and pick up one from from the yard or somewhere in Hazlet. By the grace of God, I'm able to find an empty here. That means I just have to go uh, to Hazlet. got here at 12.40 and believe it or not they have a pre-plan on me that is going to Fort Worth but I'm going to deny it because I just don't have enough time to do it uh, right now uh, by the time I'm done you know like getting my load in getting it I just don't have enough time to do that pre-plan so I'm going to reject it so that I can turn in that truck for my uh, for my slip seater otherwise they had done me good by giving me a uh, load number six Right now it's 1.15 and I'm back at the yard. I just need to do my post trip uh, and then just close out my day on the people net. And I'll be out of here.
it's 1 24 that concludes my day i'm heading back home until the next one stay blessed and stay safe bye bye